Hi, this video is brought to you by TechDirect Archive. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install and configure FSRM on Microsoft Windows Server. The FSRM, also known as the File Server Resource Manager, has existed for some time now, but has been an underutilized Windows feature. The FSRM can be used by system admins to manage the organization's corporate files on their file servers. These Windows features can be very useful in an environment with a large volume of data by helping IT managers to efficiently control the level of their storage resources. With FSRM, you can set up a size limit and filter the files users share on the active directory. Follow me as I'll be showing you how we can quickly install and configure this feature on Microsoft Windows servers. So the next thing we are going to do now is to launch our server. So once your server is up, then um, you can um, open the server manager so once the server manager is up, then under the uh, manage, you will see add rows. Just click on add rows. So once the add rows and features wizard opens, then we are going to follow the wizard one after the other. Click next. We are going to select the row based or feature based installation. Click next. Then um, this is the server we are installing the feature on. Click next. Then under this place, we are going to uh, check the box file server resource manager. And where can you find that? Uh, you get to see there's this feature here file and storage services. Just expand it. Once you expand it, you will see file and uh, uh, ISCSI services expand that as well then scroll down you will see file server resource manager just check the box so once you check it click add features then you click next we are not selecting anything here so we just move ahead click next then uh, this is the page to a uh, confirmation page for your selections then I, we are good just to click install then we wait bravely for the installation to complete so um it's going to take a little time for it to um, install so it's not going to take so much time for the installation to complete so in some seconds now the installation we complete and then we can now launch the server resource manager the file server resource manager too so um i think it's done uh, yes it's saying installation succeeded so what we just need to do is to close close it then once we close it then we can um let's go into the manage to yeah, tools let's go into the tools you can see you can find the file server resource manager it has been installed so we are going to launch it now and the next uh, configuration will start from there so we are going to launch the fsrm feature now so under tools you will see file server resource manager click on it so this is the landing page for the file server resource manager uh, you get to see quota management file screening management storage reports management classification management file management tasks so we have a whole lot of um, uh, features under this uh, fsrm there are so many things uh, you can make use of this uh, resource manager to do. So, 
the quota management, what does this, what does it do? It helps to set um, storage limits on folders to conserve storage space on your server. Then what about the file screening management? This helps to control what type of files can be saved on the server by filtering. What about the storage uh, reports management? This helps to uh, schedule report tasks and generate reports on disk usage in real time. Then the classification management, it automatically categorizes files based on a classification and property rule. Then the file management task, which helps to automate file management, such as creating expiration task based on a special or specified uh, rule. So these are the key features under FSRM, and this is what each one of them means. So we're going to look at uh, some of these uh, features now, especially the quota management. Okay, so um, do you also know that uh, you can set email notification on this uh, file server resource manager? So if you want to do that, um, you will need to configure it. So on this file server resource manager look, I just uh, right click it. Uh, then you will see configure options. So click on configure options. So on this configure options, you see main notifications uh, tab. So this is where you configure your SMTP server, the IP or the IP address, uh, the default administrator recipient, then also the default email address. So this is where you set it up. So um, you must have an SMT SMTP server uh, already then this is where you enter it then for you to verify it you can send a test email so once you set up this so anytime um anytime someone exceed the size limit the user will get a notification so that is what uh, this feature is uh, all about so um we move to the other one now. We are looking at uh, configuring the file screening. So on the file screening, you get to see the file screen audit. This file screen audit here. What does this do? So on this file screen audit, uh, you check the boss. So once you check this boss, it's going to record file screen activity in auditing database so once that is recorded you can now uh, review it later on so everything uh, that happens on your file is yet to record it and you can now review it later on so you can see file server resource manager allows you to record file screen activity in an auditing database, which can be later reviewed by running a file screen auditing report. So this is uh, another good uh, of feature of this file server resource manager. Um, if you also check, there's a tab here um, called report locations. So. This is where all your reports uh, do miss uh, the location. So you can change it or leave the default. See the report folder, schedule report folder, on demand report folder. So there are, these are different reports if you want to get them out. So you can change this destination or location. So it's, it's, it's left up to you. So the next thing I'm going to show now is... Um, the quota management, configuring quota management. So, if I expand this quota management, you get to see quotas, then you also see 
quota template so these are two different things so um the first thing we are going to do is uh, we are going to create a quota template so if you want to create a quota template because this quota template is uh, what you can still make use of when you are now configuring the quotas itself so um, if you want to create a template you will need to right click on it or oh, no let me just this is hold on so uh, you right click on it this you can see this right and uh, this right side uh, information these are some of the quota template that have been created already so you can add to it and you can make use of this quota template that is already created so if you want to add a new one just as i said right click create quota template then you can enter the name let's say test you can the description is optional let's say the limit you want to give uh for the file storage is um, let's say 10 mb they can go more than that for that particular file storage then uh, but again then you want add quota soft quota if it's that quota what that means is that it does not allow users to exceed limit the soft quota means allow users to exceed limit so which is used for monitoring so um, after that just click uh, let me this one up so on this notification threshold let's click add so on this add we can add um, you can configure email like this you just check this email send email to the following administrator then you add the administrator email send email to the user who exceeded the threshold you just check this and check this as well then what you want the subject to be whenever the the people receive the notification then the message body to you can add it here but you should know that uh, you must have configured your smtp uh, the server configuration and every other thing or the email configuration thing you must have done that because before you can make use of uh, of this uh, feature this email message you can see say no smtp smtp server is configured to send notification so this must be configured first before you can uh, uh, make use of this email message feature so this is just the event log uh, then this is just the report so those ones are not uh, uh, like this email message now is is very important it gives a notification to people so it's, it's, it's very okay to configure so just click ok yes continue so um, this will not work because our SMTP server is not configured, so it's not going to work. So unless you have configured that, then you tick this. Immediately, the threshold is getting to 85%. 85%, then it's going to notify the person that you um, the threshold is running down. So it's just to notify the people involved that is making use of that uh, uh, storage so um that is how to set up create a quota template so after you are done just click ok then you are going to see it down here this is the new newest one that we just created so on these quotas so when you go to quotas the same thing right click it create quota then you can there's a quota part you can browse if you if you have that set up uh, then you can as well uh, apply template or to apply template and create quotas on existing and new soft folders you can also you can check this 
let's let me bring this up so on this now let me click on the create code create code down part on this create code down part you will see the properties that uh, we already have these properties are the quota templates that we have created before this is the test template that i created just now so if that is what you want to just click on it so it's going to apply the properties to this uh, quota that uh, you want to create so then you can as well define a custom quota yourself so you can define that so but for easy usage it's always good to um, create a quota template before and because that is the recommended setting so you just check on it then you select the template but if you want to define you can as well define a quota properties but this is the recommended practice so once you are done just click on create mm -hmm. and that will be created for you so then from there you can now move to the testing of the configured quota whether it actually uh, worked or not so just let's click on create now so in value okay let me i've not yet selected this so i forgot to explain so this is the quota part let's say let me, let's go into documents this is the folder that have been created so this is the folder we are making use of and we need to uh, select the part here so we have to select it and click ok so this quota template this quota configuration now we apply to this uh, quota part that we that just uh, browse to so once that is done anything you want to uh make use of in respect to this quota folder this template is going to apply to it so you remember that we have 85 percent uh, warning threshold as for the email then we also have the limit that we've set on this quota is 10 MB. Also have the template is also there, the source is template. So that is what this summary is here showing us. So after doing that, just click create and the quota will be created. So it's currently running now. So this is it. So after configuring both the quota templates and quotas, you can now go ahead to test whether users will get the notification whenever they uh, go they're about going beyond or going above the limit set for the uh, file storage on the system so um this is one good way or a very good uh, feature on windows i mean the fsrm that's the file server resource manager which uh, every it manager every system admin administrator can make use of to um, efficiently control the level of the storage resources so with uh, this tool you can set up size limits and also filter the files users share on the active directory so um, it has more other features so i will uh, advise you that you can go through it through all those uh, other features one after the other so i believe you've um, enjoyed this video on uh, fs thank you for watching